And the first um, incarnation of Team Canada was uh, happened in, back in 2008. We got members from Vic uh, Vancouver, Victoria, Edmonton, Calgary, Saskatoon, and Montreal. But I believe that those numbers have swelled as well geographically wise. We got people from uh, Montreal, Calgary, Montreal, Edmonton, Red Deer, Alberta as well. So the prairies, east coast, west coast, they're all represented here for Team Canada. Okay, we've just had a tweet there from at uh, Kamakenzil13. The Canada-Scotland game is going to be absolutely ridiculous. 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 Yeah, that's one way to... Mm. That's why ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, there's one way that you could, I, I guess, compare these two teams is the fact that, obviously, Scotland is north of England. Mm -hmm. And Canada is north of America. It's the Great White North. Indeed. The Great White North. That is Canada for you. One of the largest, if not the largest, countries in the entire world. <laughs> and um, from coast to coast is the motto. Talking about um, Team Scotland, uh, the majority of their players uh, consist of skaters from the Jakey Bites, which is the, the home uh, league of uh, Scotland. Uh, we also have um, skaters who made the selection um, from the uh, Milton Keynes Quads of War. And uh, we also have members of uh, Tyne and Fear Roller Derby who also made it into Team Scotland. And uh, notable leagues from uh, the uh, Canadian team, we got the Vancouver Murder, the Slaughter Squad from Ottawa, the Glenmore Reservoir Dogs from Calgary, the Mount Royals from Montreal, uh, the Red Deer Dreadnoughts, uh, and uh, the, yeah. Let's see, the River City Riot from Edmonton. Pardon me if I have uh, forgotten or not mentioned some of these teams. Once you've witnessed this amazing bout, you've also got many other functions on the Men's Roller Derby World Cup uh, website, including the blog that's been run all day uh, and all weekend by our uh, resident blogger, that is Beat Monkey. Um, one of my favourite things that is compiled at the moment is uh, the best of uh, Men's Roller Derby World Cup beards. Oh, yeah. We have quite a few uh, contestants. One of the oh, contestants, oh. I've just been uh, informed, is actually one of our announcers, uh, a very handsome chap of the name of Captain Malice, and he's currently ranked number four in the awesome beards. Mm -hmm. So your opinion matters in this, ladies and gentlemen. Please make your way over to the website when you get a free opportunity and cast your vote. Unfortunately, my uh, Catholic whiskers are not, not even eligible, I don't think. Well, you'll get to it. And uh, we're off. Looks like El Tenant for Canada. Uh, we got a forest of legs in front of us. We can't really see who's on the track, but it could be El, yeah, El Tenant jamming for Canada. He's at the back of the pack, trying to move to the inside. Bodies everywhere on the inside, and it looks like he is your and is indeed the lead jammer. Jamming for Scotland is uh, skater number 57, Jaffa Skates. He is currently being held behind a, a red three wall. Jaffa Skates still stuck in the pack. Tank, amongst others, rice ball. And El Tenant slips through very easily. Raises his arm in the air, number one. Could that be some kind of a way to communicate with his blockers, or is it just, I'm with number one? Now, this is interesting. If anything, Jaffa Skates has been sent to the penalty box for two minutes. Mm. We're just waiting to get a clarification on that signal. Yep. I guess the, our sight lines aren't ideal, but we will deal with it. And we have excellent help here from our producer. And backup refs. Meanwhile, El Tenant picking up another grand slam, Alekum, as they say, as the Kai Rollers say. 
based in Egypt. Grand Slam Alaikum. So Jeff Skates was sent to the penalty box for two minutes for a misconduct call. Obviously, we will wait for clarification as to the reason that was. Not the kind of start you want having your jammer seated in the penalty box when you're up against Team Canada, or any team for that matter. Big hit there onto Zero, who is currently being goated at the back of the pack by Team Canada. Mm -hmm. And with that, the jam finishes. And we're getting some uh, <coughs> more information here uh, about that just finished here. England defeated Sweden by this, a score of 363 to zero, which is the biggest differential in this tournament. Thank you for that. So in this next jam, uh, Jaffa Skates will start in the penalty box. And Team Canada trying to open the door there for Bradass, number F F22. Bradass is your lead jammer. Team Scotland's uh, uh, blocker, Matheson, is currently making his way to the penalty box as well. This leaves Scotland a little bit uh, light on the track today. Mm. And the Canadians at this time are in the driver's seat. Tequila Jammer was taken to the outside. He cut track and is also now making his way to the penalty box. Mm. Basic math says that we only have two Scotland uh, blockers on track. Mm. Canada now 40 to zero. That was a good effort there by Judah Jam, who almost took uh, Canada's Jammer to the outside, but he managed to stay in on the line. Uh, Canada coming off a win against Japan, 349 to 11. And they're on back on track here for their final bout of the afternoon. Mafson for Team Scotland is returning to track. And looks like we have a power jam, uh, sorry, a star pass from Team Scotland. Pumping up the jams. That concludes the jam there. And Canada in the lead at this time, 54 to zero. 25 and a half minutes on the clock. 57 to zero in favor of Team Canada. Neil, Neil Tennant, I was about to say. L Tennant. New Dukem, I believe, um, was sent to the penalty box, I believe for a, a bat block. Mm -hmm. A legal procedure. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Captain Manus. Red, red is jamming for Canada. Number five. Team and Canada there come. with a oh, sweep, allowing yeah. Red to get in on the inside. Kind of a curling kind of move. Uh, brooms, they two great uh, curling nations as well, Canada and Scotland. Zero being goated heavily at the back of the pack. Mm. Yeah, my Seems goodness. Seems to be quite the tete-a-tete there. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of... Uh, zero and the... Uh, words are being uh, exchanged there. Some uh, love taps. <laughs> and red spins. And he gets tied up a little bit there by the three wall. The Scottish three wall. And he's off to the races. Picking up another five. Judah Jam back on track for Team Scotland. Mm. Yeah. Powerful, powerful, uh, powerful body there for a small man, Red. Exchanging uh, some nudges and uh, checks there with his uh, Scottish opposition opponents. 
New Duke and taking a barrage of hits there by uh, Team Canada, but is through. And this will be his initial pass. Mm. Red keeping a close eye on him, not uh, enabling him to calling it off wisely there before he had the opportunity to pick up any points. So none on the board for Scotland so far, and Canada are sitting pretty at 80. It seems to be the case when you've got these uh, teams um, who are desperate to ensure that they're, uh, the other teams are not picking up any points mm. at all, and it, it can be quite demoralizing, so it seems to be the strategy of the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to sort of uh, keep your heads on and, uh, and uh, really utilize any, any opportunity you have to, to score points and uh, really work hard, but uh, never giving up, of course. And, uh, it could be like a, a bit of a momentum changer. If you can put some uh, points, just get on that scoreboard. The real scrim shady for yep. uh, Team Scotland yep, yep. is uh, got two more blockers from Team Canada to yep. pass. Seems to, uh, unfortunately, he's been swallowed yep. up by the pack. L. Tennant, Scotland, oh so close. Uh, just want to mention that it could be like a bit of a momentum shifter for Scotland. They're uh, getting Lee Jammer's status and getting the crowd behind them. Uh, but Canada, again, L. Tannant. Tannant, sorry. I keep confusing him with this, uh, the singer of Pet Shop Boys. <laughs> And Al Tannant negotiates the uh, roadblock there, if you will, uh, set up by the Scots. Picks up another five points for Canada. And skates backwards, sideways, picking his way up to the front. Bit of a shoulder to shoulder action and great work. He has quite the beard though. I think he should nominate <laughs> himself to, uh, to the greatest beard not beer, but beard competition. I think he has. A, he could be in the running. Now there was an attempted um, star pass uh, to WK Dade, uh, but unfortunately, that was illegal. Mm. And uh, the real scrim shady has been sent to the penalty box. Mm. So this makes it another Canadian power jam. Yeah. Or uh, if you want to talk hockey, it's uh, it's another power play. <laughs> And we have people watching in Chile. Chile, welcome. Glad you could join us. And uh, yeah, we're so amazed and happy. Uh, I wish I could say something in great in, in Spanish. Uh, I don't know. Do you know any Spanish? Spanish? Like, um, I, I hope you're having a good time. My Spanish is uh, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Uh, <laughs> uh, buenos dias, uh, Chile. Muchas gracias for watching. Muchas gracias for watching. And uh, welcome. This to game is going to be muy loco. Muy loco. <laughs> and it's uh, welcome to the uh, uh, Casa Fiesta, the house of party. So we have for Canada skating number F22, Bradas. Bradas, urging his forces forward to speed up. And he's off. He's off to the penalty box. Bradass. This will be a power jam to Scotland. We're looking to see the real scrim shady emerge from the box. This could be the this is the moment that they've been waiting for to get some points on the board for Team Scotland. High block there, and he gets out of the box. Now here's a great opportunity for the Scots to get some points on the board, get the crowd behind them, like we were saying. And uh, this could be one of their finest hours. If they get some points here, just listen to this crowd. They will go nuts. And there he goes, the real scrim shade. He emerges victorious through the pack, picking up a full quota, five points on the board for Team Scotland. Scots on the rocks. They are rocking it. Big and hit there, yeah. taking the real scrim shady to the outside. Yeah, well, if you're going to score on the big boys, they're going to make you pay. It's going to hurt. Brad Ass is back in. Brad Ass back on track and through the pack, picking up more points.
And he's off. The jammer right, having to uh, extra burst of speed there to keep up with Brad Ass. Great low skating style. And with that, this jam comes to an end. Mm -hmm. So, 14 net. points on the board for Scotland, 113 for Canada. A 99 point lead. <laughs> Now, let's talk about fast girl skates. Yeah. Serving skaters of all shapes and sizes mm -hmm. since 2007. And I know that to be true because I am what you would consider to be a husky skater. <laughs> I am curvaceous and uh, you can get quality merchandise that will make me look supreme. So please visit them at Fast Girl Skates. Yeah, and you need all shapes and sizes in every uh, roller derby team, uh, let me put it uh, that way. I think Team Canada are actually a good example of uh, a team that are all shapes and sizes. Yeah. You got, the, you got the shorts, you got the talls, you got the wides, uh, and you got the slender. But a few Canadians now, Canucks having to have a seat in the penalty box here. That Is was this, Tequila uh, Jamma for Team Scotland. Mm -hmm. Another four points on the board for Scotland. This is the momentum they ex that mm -hmm. they needed. This is fantastic. Good stuff. Two Canadian skaters in the box. And there seems to be an official timeout. Yes, indeed, there is. So the penalty box today is brought to you by Roller Derby City, Europe's largest supplier of roller derby kit and merch. And they have also supplied uh, the officials and announcers with uh, shirts for us to represent at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. I'm looking forward to wearing one of those. Um, it's a pajamas. <laughs> okay. We've just been told by the referee that a cut was issued before the points were scored. Okay, so, so in Scotland, that jam, yeah. Scotland did not pick up any points. Okay. So it's now going back to uh, Scotland 14. It's, it's it's incredible. It's it's you know it's I don't know it's so fair. Uh, I like to say fair, you know, uh, with all these refs and stuff, making sure that every point counts and it's legal basically. And uh, good example there. All right, here we go. From Instagram, Ecobo, uh, go boys, go Canada. Was that E K uh, underline Bo? Uh, at K underscore Bo, I believe. Yeah. Uh, go boys, go Canada. Go Canada. So we have Canadians with us. Cool. Now, of course, while this official timeout is going on, the clock is not stopped. This will be carrying on. Mm. And we have just over 15 minutes left in this game. And the towering figure of L. Tennant is at, on the jammer line. Uh, and in his company has two blockers. And Scotland are down to three skaters. So three on three action, Canada soon to be at full strength and Lee Jammer, L Tennant. So that means that for Team Scotland, Tequila Jammer um, is in the penalty box mm. and will be coming back out shortly. Mm. Skating on one leg, L Tennant picking up another five points. He's got three Scottish blockers hanging on to him like a, vi a grapevine, but um, shrugs it off, keeps going. And now to the outside. Seeing uh, he was getting set up for a hit and he goes, to, goes out to greet it and uh, bounces right off it and keeps going. Good stuff. Now he's got all four, the Scottish wall. Tequila Jammer back on track, takes a slight slip, but he's back up. Oh. And he's been chased through. Oh. Big hit, but he remains on track. Yeah. The Good. crowd are going absolutely wild. Yeah, he was glued to the track there. Exciting stuff there at the conclusion of that jam. 
Good action, good action, as usual. Canada 142, Scotland 14. Jamming for Team Scotland is going to be Nuke Jukum. And Canada, I cannot see because of the towering figure of one of the Scottish blockers, but it's not El Tenant. <laughs> Is it Bradass? Yes, he was flat on his posterior there for a while. New Junkum putting in hits in order to get round. He's been controlled oh. over the front of the pack. He squeezed through on the inside in his lead jammer, Bradass. And with a tasty juke there, New Junkum emerges from the front of the pack on his initial pass. Bradass getting a nice little assist there. By number 71, the Rev, also sporting a gentlemanly beard, gentleman-like beard. And we have at, at Tough Noogies, three reasons why I'd love to be at MRDWCQSS track. Hashtag MRDWC. One, accents. Uh, two, beards of plenty. Three, roller derby two, I guess. Those are all good reasons, but Very the one good. good reason to stay at home in the comfort there is uh, by day three, you're not going to have to deal with the smell. <laughs> <laughs> it may be a little bit terminal. But the beards, uh, the beards will be longer by day three, <laughs> though, so we have something to look forward to. Okay, jamming for uh, Team Scotland, we have skater number 42, Dead Hardy. Mm. And unfortunately, he's making his way to the box for a cut track. Mm. Red, Red is jamming now and getting a little shove there. Propelling him to the front of the pack and he escapes and he is lead jammer. Red. Big Red. I love this almost sort of uh, purplish color the Scots are donning. Is it blue or is it, I don't know. Some Under these lights it could be yeah. taken for purple but it is yeah, blue. The, the, the headlights have uh, faded a little bit in here. It's a bit dim. No problem for red. And that was red going against Red Baron of Team Scotland. The, the reds, the reds, the Red Baron <laughs> and red. Well spotted, sir. Team Canada positioning themselves in order to ensure that Team Scotland's jammer will have to go as far back oh. as oh, possible. Yeah. Dead Hardy back on track. And Dr. T. Sanchez picking up a penalty there. I did not pick that up. Why? But he is. I believe it was speeding. an out of play. Yeah. Yeah, they stretched that too far. Unfortunately, Dead Hardy has picked up another cut track penalty, so we'll spend in another minute in the box. And that jam has come to a conclusion. Mm -hmm. Okay then, so Green Monster Roller Sports, mm -hmm. all new. Visit us today at Green Monster. That is G-R-N-M-N-S-T-R dot com. And um, the pivot line? Uh, is brought to you by uh, GBEMS. I'm not really quite sure what that stands for. That is Great Britain Emergency Medical Services. The men in green. The men and women in green, uh, without who there would be absolutely, without a doubt, no bout, because these people are here to uh, assist any injured player. We've uh, already had their services used today. Yeah. As one of Team Japan unfortunately hurt his shoulder and is uh, on his way to hospital. Yeah. All our uh, thoughts and wishes are with him, and I hope he makes a, a safe recovery. I've noticed that some of those men in green actually had derby names on their backs. Did you see that? Yes, they are. They are uh, proud uh, roller derby uh, supporters. Yeah, they, they know what's up. L Tennant, Lee Jammer, picking up more points for Canada. His panty is uh, almost falling off there, El Tenant. Adjust it, adjusts it.
And uh, standing on one skate there, spins around like a very, very slow spinorama a la Danny Savard of the uh, 80s era Chicago Blackhawks. And we got a horn in the house. <laughs> Okay, the penalty box. Sorry, quad skate shop. Let's talk about quad skate shop. Yeah, Europe's original that. brick and mortar road adobe equipment supplier. Quad roller skate shop has the best selection and most stock of any store on the continent with excellent consultation services only a fellow skater could provide. Mm. And we've got all your needs covered. We love this game. So uh, brick and mortar, that would be like meat and potatoes. <laughs> It means that they have an actual shop. It's uh, more than a website. So if you want to go there, try those skates on. You'll know that they fit comfy like. Right on. Rice ball is throwing his weight around on the track. And for Team Scotland, we have the real scrim shady. He was out on his initial pass, but is denied calling off any points. Rice ball taking a shift there as Jammer, uh, taking some of the, uh, given the, the more uh, uh, frequently used Jammers, a bit of a sit down, I would assume. Now, what happened at the end there was um, the real scrim Shady came in and mm -hmm. was going too hot to uh, stop mm -hmm. and went into the legs of um, a Canadian skater. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's been called for an illegal procedure. Mm -hmm. So this means that Canada have started in a power jam situation. And, and, it, and Brad Ass is your go-to guy here, sprinting away, he's your lead jammer. Directing his troops in front of him. Oh, nice little jump there. <laughs> oh, and got a nice, nice little shove out of bounds there from the Red Baron. Red Baron, Red Baron strikes again. He lit, Brad Ass thought he was free with that apex jump, but Brad, um, the Red Baron, comes in with his hips and takes him straight to the outside. Yeah, a bit of a little wake-up call there. <laughs> You're not out of this yet. We have got just a little under six minutes left in this current game. Brad Ass calls that one off. Uh, Canada now nearing the... Double century mark, as they say in England. Uh, 198 uh, for Canada and Scotland sitting at 1 for 14, 14 points. Five and a half minutes to go. Red doing battle there with the entire Scottish wall, and he is your lead jammer. Goes around the hips of WK Deed, who is currently out of play, but he reforms to the pack. Good stuff there from Scotland, number 976. Slim, slim. The real scrim shady emerged from the box, was straight through in his initial pass, but was denied again any points on that jam. Great, great burst of speed, though. It really was. Nice to watch. Perfect here. With the first two left turns here, we got a perfect vantage point. And then, uh, and of course, what it means is Team Scotland will start with a fresh jammer, which yep. is exactly what they need. Yep, yep, yep. Team Canada have really been putting the pressure on, mm. keeping their jammers in the box for far too long. Mm. Let's hope this is a new page. Mm. Canada 201, Scotland 14. And Canada call upon the services of El Tennant. He's in the infield, has to start from the back. Could this be an opportunity? No, the Scottish Jammer also in the infield, has to come back, and now he's out of bounds. Big hit takes Judder Jam for Team Scotland mm -hmm. as their Jammer out. Team Canada recycling him all the way to the back. Yeah, El Tennant lead Jammer. Oh, he's getting the treatment. Whoops, a, oh, a diving block and uh, stumble and fall. 
Canada down to three skaters. And El Tennant high fives and hands over the panty to number four. Stand aside. And let's quickly talk about the Men's Roller Derby Association. Mm. The Men's Roller Derby Association would like to wish all the teams competing in the Men's Roller Derby World Cup the best of luck this weekend. The MRDA is the international governing body for Men's Flat Track Roller Derby and wants you to join them in the growing world of Men's Roller Derby. For more information about joining and the benefits of being part of the MRDA, visit them at mensrollerderbyassociation.com or send inquiries to info at mensrollerderbyassociation.com. And it looks like, ooh, oh, we got a Scotsman in that the lead, is, Lee Jammer. That is Cronenberg for Team Scotland, the power of Scotland. He is your Lee Jammer. The power of Scotland, indeed. Oh, listen to this crowd. My goodness gracious me. Oh. Team Canada are raining hits on Cronenberg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And he's through, and he definitely has points on the board. Points well earned. Did he pick up three, four? Looking at the four score, points. which I can see for Team Scotland is 18. I would yeah, imagine they, that to be the yeah, four points. Four, yeah, Which is a uh, commendable effort there by Cronenberg. Yeah, yeah. Hard earned points indeed. And Scotland has lost their captain, Dafty, to a broken ankle, but he's here supporting his team. Tequila Jammer is jamming for Team Scotland. Oh. He's been smacked straight to the inside. Oh! Big hit there by the by number 14 for Team Russian Canada. Destruction. Russian destruction. Russian destruction. He was trying to recycle Tequila yeah, yeah. and ends up doing a, um, a direction of gameplay. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of... Um, Manly hormones that are being put into play here. Oh, it's like, oh dear me, there's a lot of hitting going on here behind uh, the play, so to speak. Yeah. Tank at the front trying yeah. to uh, close Tequila Jamma down. He is out of play. Oh dear. They are introducing themselves to each other in more ways than one. Some oh, jammer on jammer action there as red, red takes tequila oh, a body to the outside. Faked. He faked them like, I don't know, up into the grandstand. And uh, Scotland will play USA tomorrow, and Canada will play the winner of the Finland Wales bout. Uh, you heard it here first. Now, of course, with these games that you're watching, if you're enjoying and listening, please drop us a few pounds, dollars, lottie, or even yen using the link on the broadcast page. Now, this is split 50-50 between us and the team's travel funds. And again, just to reiterate, when we say us, we don't mean it's like buying us beers at the end of the day. No, no, no. It is going to fund in this great tournament that is happening here over the next three days. So please join us for that. Right on. I think this, uh, well, there's a time, official timeout call with, like, the clock running out. So let's see how they, uh, they call this. It's, it's, uh, that concludes. I believe, yes, that the, was this the concludes, final whistle. Yeah, that was the final whistle. Great stuff, great action. Canada 220, Scotland 18. Very hard earned points by Team Scotland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Quadrigas, uh, that was fun. And uh, I hope you, uh, yeah. We will be doing that again later on today. Thank you very, very much, Handsome Joe Handsome. Yeah, cool. And number two, uh, Alan Nelson, uh, number uh, 222 from Canada, he fouled out at the conclusion of the bout. His fourth penalty. And then, so all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks.